Lesson 2.1b, Modeling Integer Multiplication with Counters. Counters representing negative and positive numbers can help us understand how to find the product of negative integers. We have a yellow counter for positive 1 and a red counter for negative 1. If we have 2 times negative 1, we have 2 negative counters. We have negative 1 2 times. It is equal to negative 2. So let's remember the multiplication and division rules. If we have a positive and a positive, it is going to equal a positive. If we have a negative and a negative, it will equal a positive. That's because they have like signs. This positive and this positive, positive are like, so it's positive. We have a negative and a negative. Those are like signs, so it's positive. But when we have unlike signs, our answer will be negative. Here we need to find the product of negative 2 and negative 4 as negative 2 times negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4 is the opposite of positive 2 times negative 4. We use counters to model the opposite. 2 times negative 4. We have 2 rows of negative 4. We have 1 here and 1 here. We make the same model using positive counters to find the opposite of negative 2 times negative 4. We translate the model into a mathematical expression. Negative 2 times negative 4 is equal to a positive 8. Now, if that's confusing, stick with me. I'll explain. We need to find negative 2 times negative 4. So looking at this negative 2 right here, negative 2 and positive 2 are opposites. So positive 2 times negative 4 is the opposite of this equation. So we can model this equation, negative 2 times negative 4, by first making a model of its opposite positive 2 times negative 4. Positive 2 times negative 4 is 2 rows of negative 4. We have 2 negative 4s. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's negative 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. That's negative 4. We have 2 rows of them. If 2 rows of negative 4 is a model of this equation's opposite, well, then 2 rows of positive 4 will show its model. We modeled this equation's opposite, positive 2 times negative 4, by making 8 negative counters. So now we want to go back to the original. That means we're going to have 8 positive counters. So negative 2 times negative 4 is equal to positive 8. And they have like signs. Negative times negative is going to equal to positive. I hope that makes sense. If not, Try going back a couple minutes and watching it again. Take a look at these equations here. We're multiplying the factor negative 2 by a 0, a negative 1, a negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So these factors, the second factor, they're all decreasing by 1. They're going down by 1. So remember, as values head to the left, they decrease. So this negative 2 is 1 less than negative 1, and the negative 3 is 1 less than negative 2, and so on. We're multiplying a negative times a negative. They have like signs. That means their product is going to be positive. We can see the products are positive. We can see a pattern of these products. When the factors have the same sign, the product is a positive number. And these products increase by 2. The products, the answers, increase by 2 for every decrease of 1 of the second factor. Now let's talk about double negatives. This sentence says, I am not unable to pass the math test. Well, this statement contains two negatives, not and the prefix un. And they cancel each other out. If I am not unable, then I must be able. Try looking at this one. She doesn't have none. 
This is a double negative. If she has none, she has zero. If she doesn't have zero, she must have some. If this said she has none, that means that she has zero. By putting the doesn't here, we're saying she doesn't have zero. So that means she has some. And for integer multiplication and division, two negatives make a positive. Like sign factors produce a positive product. If we have negative 3 times negative 50, it would be the opposite of 3 times negative 50. It would be a positive 150. Unlike sign factors produce a negative product. Here we have a positive 2 times a negative 35. That's equal to the repeat addition of negative 35 plus negative 35. That's equal to negative 70. We can see the pattern when there's like signs, the product is positive. When there's unlike signs, the product is negative. Here we have negative 25 times a positive 4. They have unlike signs. We think, well, 25 times 4 is 100. They have unlike signs, so we're going to have negative 100 as our product. Here we have a positive 6 and a negative 30. We think, well, 6 times 30 is 180. They have unlike signs, so it's a negative 180. Here we have negative 5 times negative 40. They have like signs. We think, well, 5 times 40 is 200. They have like signs, so it's a positive 200. So we can multiply their absolute values, ignoring the signs, then follow the rules for the sign of the product. We finished this lesson, and we're going to talk more about absolute value when multiplying integers in the next lesson, 2.1c. So when modeling with counters, and we're multiplying a negative times a negative, we model the opposite, a positive times the negative. Then we use the opposite chips to go back to the original, and we'll see that we have a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.